They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it! You're ignorant! Horror. For you, a genre that's guaranteed to get your heart pumping and the blood flowing. But don't lose your head in terror. You can always reach for someone's hand. Because this is a genre best shared with other people. So here are six cult classics from the sixth generation of consoles. <coughs> okay, so first up we've got Obscure for the PlayStation 2. This is the only game on this list that's actually couch co-op. Take control of a group of teenagers who are locked in Leafmont High School overnight as they look for their missing friend, uncover a conspiracy, and fight for their lives against horrific mutated creatures. This game gives off big vibes of the movie The Faculty and is easily accessible as there's a version available on Steam for a mere $4.99. The only difference is it is missing some 41 from the intro. Next up we've got a true cool classic here, it's Silent Hill 2. Take control of James Sunderland as he enters the foggy hell world of Silent Hill looking for his wife. The only catch is, his wife's been dead for three years. Explore the deepest recesses of human suffering, grief, loss and guilt. I will give this one a little trigger warning as it deals with some pretty dark subject matters, but it is a great game. This is another game that's easily accessible as the PC version is abandonware so you can get the enhanced edition and play it 100% free in HD. Next up we've got a real creepy one, Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly for the PlayStation 2. Explore the lost village of Minakami as twin sisters Mio and Mayu. Fend off vengeful ghosts with the camera Obscura, an enchanted camera that can exercise spirits. Help the girls as they try and understand what the Crimson Sacrifice ritual is, what it means to the village, and to them. This is another great horror game. It's almost like a scary Pokemon Snap, though it is a little bit harder to get hold of, so you might have to get yourself a legitimate ISO and emulate it. Okay, so now we've got Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. This game is fantastic for many reasons, one of which is that it's quite possibly the only horror game that isn't Resident Evil on the GameCube. Explore a story that spans across the ages, set between 26 BC and 2000 AD. Uncover the mysteries of the Tome of Eternal Darkness and understand what the entities called the Ancients are planning, all whilst trying to keep your sanity in check. If you can get your hands on a legitimate copy of this game, it can be set to progressive scan over interlace to give a clearer picture on modern displays. Okay, so next up we've got one of the rarest horror games on the PlayStation 2. We've got Rule of Rose. Take control of a 19-year-old orphan named Jennifer as she arrives at a creepy orphanage full of creepy children doing creepy things. Before she knows it, she's bundled aboard an airship having to gain favour with the red crayon aristocrats, a group of genuinely disturbing children who have created a society of nobility and peasants. The feel of this game is like a dark fairy tale. It's great, but if you want to get hold of it, you may have to get yourself a legitimate ISO because it's incredible incredibly rare, and in fact it was banned in the UK. This one's great at making you feel uncomfortable, but definitely worth checking out. Last on the list we've got Haunting Ground for the PlayStation 2. In this one you play a girl called Fiona, who following a car crash finds herself in a castle dungeon in a cage. After finding some clothes, she explores the castle, befriends gaming's best dog Huey, and has to avoid the castle's residents and their creepy obsession with her womb. This game has a very oppressive atmosphere, with Fiona feeling very vulnerable, exposed and fragile. With this game's voyeuristic and sexual nature, it can leave you feeling quite uncomfortable, but I would still say it's absolutely worth a play. The only problem is, you guessed it, this game's expensive now, so you might have to get yourself a legitimate ISO if you want to play it. And there we go, that was six cult classics from the sixth generation of consoles. This is nowhere near a complete list, there is many on this generation, it's possibly the best generation for horror. But with that said, thanks so much for watching, like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know your favourite horror games from this generation, and I'll catch you on the next video.